The Coe's future mayor may have been among half a dozen candidates who spoke at last night's forum. The contenders were hoping to gain enough support to launch a campaign to fill Bob Abbott's seat in March. Residents wanted to see and hear what's in store for their future. The coast is at a tipping point and I'm a constituent of the coast and uh, my kids and their future is on the coast so I want to see the people that are putting their hands forward and make a judgement for myself. 120 business people were voting for seven candidates. Securing a majority of the audience support could determine if the hopefuls would follow through on their leadership aspirations. I'd really be interested to learn what the people here, the business leaders, um, think in greater depth. The candidates had their first taste of life in politics when they were peppered with questions. We need to be out there, proactive, on the front foot, marketing our services to the world. LNP member and events manager Michael Blois won 33% of the audience vote with his plans to reform council and sell off part of the airport. I fully realise what's potentially ahead. Uh, I think, you know, no one goes into politics with their eyes shut and uh, I fully expect things to be tough and rough down the track. Followed by surveyor Lloyd Carey with 28%. But I do see that things have to change and uh, I'm prepared to put my name up and do the things you've got to do for society. The new boys on the block will likely have little competition within the current council ranks. Deputy Mayor Tim Dwyer has pulled out of top job contention while outspoken councillor Debbie Blummel isn't yet showing her hand. I was disappointed that they were all fairly similar demographic and I'm looking for a female candidate. Laura Dimmick, 7 News.